Look to the left. You are inside a lithium fluoride crystal. The white balls are fluorine atoms. Lithium is red. Look around to explore the atomic environment. Now, as you can see, some yellow blobs are appearing. What are they? The crystal you are watching was excited by radiation, by sunlight, for example. Thereby, an electron was excited, leaving behind a positive charge called a hole. Electron and hole have formed a pair, an exciton. Both particles cannot be localized at single points in space, but have a certain spatial distribution. Here, the yellow blobs represent the density distribution of the excited electron, and the blue cross indicates in which point of the whole distribution we are focusing at the moment. Look up and down and around you. What you can see for this simple crystal happens in any solar cell material or light emitting device. Whether a material can be used for one or the other application, however, strongly depends on this interplay of electron and hole. If they are so close to each other, they are strongly bound. Such situation is not useful for solar cell. This hampers, for instance, using purely organic materials to this purpose. Now, the position of the hole has moved to a different side. We realize that the electron cloud has changed significantly. Both shapes and color of the electron blobs are different. The green color indicates a higher electron density than before. As you can see, an exciton is a complex object as the density distribution of the electron depends on where the hole is. Look at the electron density blobs. They are changing now their color we are moving the whole position. When the electron density is low, it is displayed in orange color, when it is high, in purple. Visualizing the interplay between the electron and the hole allows us to understand what is happening on the atomic scale upon shining light on tau material. It shows the microscopic shape of the electron density in electron hole pairs. This is something experiments cannot yet reveal. Seeing helps understanding. Visual inspection of these scenarios provide us with insight into physical processes, which in turn is prerequisite for choosing the right material for a certain application. Virtual reality can help us exploring such processes in material better than we could do before.